Hey everybody, I'm Azalea and you're watching my YouTube channel, Way Crunchy. This old shack series, and this series is about me and my partner. We bought a extreme fixer upper for $20,000 and this is the journey of us fixing her up. No rush, loads of DIY and frugal cheats. Maybe not cheat, but hacks. So last week was just crazy. I had the electrician working over here. I had the plumber come in. He had an assistant with him. I was running around getting stuff for the electrician. It was just mayhem. And we ordered what new light fixtures we are gonna have new. We had to get together with John on what we were gonna order. Like it has just been, last week was crazy. I felt depleted by this weekend, absolutely depleted. And I was like, you know what, <laughs> slow your roll. You know, where we're living right now, the rent is extremely affordable, which has put us in a great position to take our time with this fixer upper. So, you know, enjoy the ride. That's what life is. Don't just think about the destination. You need to enjoy the ride. I have not given y'all a walkthrough since the electrician started putting up fixtures, and it is really exciting. And I've been bringing more stuff over here um, from the rental to, you know, I mean, we're going to live here, so might as well start moving stuff in, right? So, let me start with the, I, sh I fixed up a little light fixture, um, and y'all saw that, um, one of my little $5 finds, but I painted the gold tone on the fixture black and it was really good. So I'm gonna show y'all the different light fixtures around. You come into the front door, you're coming into the living room. <gasps> There's the living room. There's the light fixture. <laughs> Five dollars and my DIY, it looks good. Now, don't y'all forget, we got outlets for sconce lights on the side of this opening here. Now, those are two of the lights that we ordered brand new um, that are going to be really artsy focal pieces. And I'm super excited, so I will unbox those soon. Y'all keep watching. Our breaker box is all squared away. Everything looks good inside. We need one more circuit or breaker or whatever it is that I'm waiting to come in. Supply and demand. They got to bring it in for another shop or something. Y'all, I, so I still had, we made a big order of brand new light fixtures off Amazon of some kind of art piece showstoppers that I really wanted in this house. You know, this house is not just like a fixer upper to use as a flip or to use as a rental. This is going to be our home. And um, I am passionate about decor as art. Um, but anyway, so there were just one or two. I still need at least one. I think I just need one more light fixture and then everything will be done. Um, but I got a light fixture for this room. I got it after we had done the last video. So this is brand new. I could not believe I found this. I could not believe it. It was at the Habitat for Humanity Restore for $6. So look at this. All right, like look at that design on this. Look how big it is. This is the side. It goes up like this. Like this is, <laughs> it's gonna go in this room. I'm gonna use it in our bedroom. It's gonna be in the center. I love it so much. Like this is just vintage, fabulous. This $6, okay y'all. I felt like a treasure hunting winner when I found that. I love that life picture. I love it. <laughs> now, we have gone ahead and we have all of the smoke detectors all over the house hardwired in. All of those are up. All of our switches, all of our plugs, all of our smoke detectors are wired in. Anything that doesn't have a fixture on it has like caps over the wires so we could run power from the power company now and it would be safe. Children's room upstairs is one of the most finished rooms. 
but the bathroom upstairs and the hall upstairs are the most unfinished rooms in this place. So this is another one of the $5 fixtures. I think it's just perfect, sleek, light fixture, solid white, black. I'm liking black for a lot of the hardware around this house. Um, and then in the closet, we got this on like an Amazon clearance, like someone had returned this and I think we got it for $9. Let me show you this little light in the closet. They call that a warehouse deal. So look at it. It's like for the kids room, it's like green and then the closet is painted blue with a little more of this blue industrial feel light. Got a light switch. Got a light switch, there's the light. Nice closet for the kids, gonna be a lot of storage. Yeah, it's a warehouse deal, so you can search on Amazon for things that people have like returned. $5 fixture just for the front porch. It has that black color that I'm kind of going with for some of the finishings. I mean, I've been so busy, I got a quote on windows too, to get all new windows in the house. I had a man come out and measure all the windows. That's not something we're thinking about at this moment. I'll. I'll fill y'all in when we get to that. Right now, we're gonna get that plumbing in, we're gonna get that house inspection, and we're gonna move in. That's kind of first state of business. And in the meantime, all of this stuff, this labor that we can put into the house to fix and do it ourselves, we're gonna just keep on chug-a-lugging. So there's one of those $7 light fixtures. I might need to come in here and paint that silver black, honestly, but I haven't even painted the ceilings in this room yet, so we can do that later. But yeah, there's two lights in here. It's a long room. This will be John's office. Bronzy, goldies, and black for any metal. Any metal in the house should be bronzy or goldy or black. I'm not doing silver. So I brought, I've been Going through, I've got house plants that are gonna need to come over. And in the meantime, these house plants are cleaning our vibes in here. All right, so this is a cute house now, right? This is a good time for me to insert a before picture. If you've not been watching these videos, this has been a journey. So my to-do list is crazy as usual, and there's so many different directions for me to be headed. And last week I really overdid myself. So I'm just chipping away. Just what feels comfortable, what feels good. Um, I'm gonna get some different plumber quotes, see if we can bring that price down a little bit. But if we do have to go with the original plumbing quote, it is not gonna break this project. So no worries. Um, today, first thing I'm gonna do is finish up our me and John's bedroom here. Finish up the paint. Mark that off my list.
out to my green bedroom. I mixed this paint color myself. That's in one of my other videos. Um, so yeah, I only have a little bit of paint left, so I'm not gonna go over and do little touch-ups um, right now. That's gonna be in the future because I still need to put a piece of drywall right there and that's gonna need this green paint as well. So I wanna make sure I have enough left to cover that before I go doing little touch-ups that don't matter as much. All right, so that's a wrap on me and John's bedroom wall for now. So, one thing I'd really like to like get across to people is just how much you can accomplish to improve the appearance of a house just by giving a hoot, just caring, okay? So, for example, here's a window, okay? So, recently I was looking at getting new windows. It's very expensive. We're gonna do it eventually. But what can I do with the windows I have right now? There is one thing I can do to improve this. All I have to do is care. All right, so I got a screen. I'm gonna bring that up. I've even got storm windows. God, why should it not work now? Where that's improved like if you've got your storm windows half up half down then you got all these different lines in here instead of a nice picture glass window so in the winter you definitely gonna want to bring that storm window down because then you got two panes of glass so we're not in that bad of shape they rattle like the dickens um but that's that old house character but we've got screens and we've got storm windows and we have windows that are not cracked or broken in the kitchen. So kitchen's all right for now. Living room, those windows are fine. This window's fine. Um, all right, so this, this is fine. There is no pane of glass in the bottom pane of the window, but there is a storm window. So I have two solid panes of glass between me and the out of doors. That will be just fine for this summer. Now upstairs, I gotta do something. I got uh, I do to I got like a broken pane of glass upstairs. I'm gonna need to deal with. So I might try and do something with that. Not today, but so that's a little update on the window situation. Since I had mentioned having someone come over, well, new windows are expensive. But um, it's something you can plan for over time, unlike plumbing. You need that. <laughs> Y'all, the entranceway floor is the only floor that just ain't going to cut it. And there's, you know, like plywood under these peel and stick tiles. But it's just like, what's under that plywood? It's like, yeah, I can just buy some kind of <sighs> peel and stick tiles that are new to put on top of it. Can't really do a rug because it's the entranceway. All the other floors down here are beautiful wood. What's under here? What happened to this? Why is there plywood on top of it? I don't know. What if there's a surprise underneath and all I have to do is pry it off? What if? I mean, the floor is really unacceptable, unlivable, as it is. I don't have much to lose.
um, well, that just looks like a wood floor to me. That can't be the whole story. This cannot be the whole story. It's just more good wood floor. So, all that plywood's going to need to come up. All those tiles are going to need to come up. I've done sent John pictures. This is a perfect job for him. Well, that floor is really something. I'm not going to pry it all up. John is really, really good at this sort of little project. By little project, I mean huge and strenuous. So, I can't wait for him to get on that. And, wow, we got, that's going to be good. Started filling this guy. It's about half full with newspaper that I use in my rabbit's litter box, so it's already soaked with nitrogen. This is kind of a deep raised bed. I ain't trying to fill all that. Anyway, I filled this right much with balled up rabbit newspaper. Um, and then I've got a layer from just a bag. I'm not doing a truckload of topsoil. So just a bag here, um, a topsoil. The cheapest one. And then a couple of pots of my good rabbit manure and compost situation that I prepare at the barn myself. So yeah, it feels good to be filling the bed. And grow all sorts of things out here. I should say y'all my little greenhouse back at the barn. She is just full of plants. It's gonna be a good year. Bye, y'all.